class. How are you today? As you can see, the learning objective for today is what? At the end of the lesson, you should be able to, one, divide polygon, divide polygon into triangles. If you are given a polygon, you should be able to divide it into different triangles and the number of triangles. The second one, you state the numbers of triangles in any given polygon. Why the third one? You calculate the sum of angles in a polygon. Now, the key vocabulary words, that is the words you need to understand before we go into this topic. The first one is vertex. The second one is interior angles. The third one is exterior angles. We don't need this one much, but this one we need. We need the interior angle because we are dealing with interior angles. Now look at this. If you look at this shape, how many, this is a polygon of how many sides? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. A shape with six sides is called what? It's called a hexagon. We call it hexagon. So let's start to look at the vertex. What do you understand by vertex? Vertex is the angle, is this edge. Here, two straight line meets. It's what we call vertex. Your hand can be a good example of it. This is a straight line. This is another straight line. Where they meet, this place is a vertex. We call this place vertex. As you can see, it, this is a vertex. This is a vertex. This is another one. This is another one. This is another one. Why this side, we call it side. This is the vertex here. This side is what we call vertex, the outside. Why this angle inside is called interior angles? We call this one interior. Angle inside, interior angle. Why the one outside, like this side now, there's an angle outside here. This is what we call exterior angle. This is our exterior angle. So if you ask to find your interior angle, you should know they are referring to the angles inside. And I hope you all understand your vertex. Like this board. This is the vertex of this board. This is another vertex. I hope you understand this now. So the plural of vertex is vertices. If it is more than one, we call it vertices. But one is vertex. So let's continue. The next subtopic is number of triangles in a polygon. This is a polygon. This is a polygon. And this is another polygon. If you look at this, how many sided polygon is this? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So this is a for the lateral. For us to divide this one into triangles, look up. I will just pick. This is a good shape now. I want to divide into triangle. If I try to, I can start from here. I can bring it like this. I'll get a triangle. I can bring it like this. I'll get a triangle. But note, if I try to bring it this way, I bring another one this way. The line will be crossing each other. I'm not getting what I want. I will just divide it once. I will never allow the line to overlap each other. So for me to do that, I can decide to take it from here, from this vertex to another vertex. How many triangles do you have now? Two. One, two. Don't forget that the sum of angle in the triangle is 180. How many triangles did I have here now? Two. One, two. So I have two. This is a four-sided shape, four sides, with how many triangles? Two triangles. I have two triangles here. Look at this one now. This one is how many sides? One, two, three, four, five. This is five sides. Five sides. Let's divide this into triangle. How am I going to get about this? I can start from this vertex. You may decide to start your own here. The other person may decide to but just make sure the lines are not overlapping each other. That's what you need to think of. So if I start from here, I'll bring it down to this, no, sorry. I'll bring it to this edge. This is the triangle. From here again, if I start to bring it here, I'm not getting any triangle. But if I bring it from here to here, the triangle is formed. So I'll bring it here. Yes. Any other one? No. That means when I have five sides, I have an triangle, one, two, three. The sum of triangle here is 180 degree. This one too is 180 degree. This one here is 180 degree. This one is 180 degree. This one is 180 degree. Now this one I have five sides, I have three triangles. I have two triangles. You are still coming back to this because I want you to derive something. Look at the 
next one. This one is an octagon because it has eight sides. Let's count. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I want to divide this one into triangles. I can start from here. You can start from here. But make sure your lines do not overlap the other one. So if I take from here to here, I'm not getting any triangle. But I can take from here to here. Or I can start from here to here like this. This is a triangle. From here, bring it this way. This is another triangle. Bring it down here. This is another triangle. This is another one. I bring it to this vertex. I bring it to this vertex. So that means eight sides. Eight sides. How many triangles? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six triangles. So this one is 180 degree. This 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 is 180 degree. If you look at this now, for me now to get the sum of angles in this polygon, it's very easy. Here I have two triangles. Four sides is giving me two triangles. Five sides is giving me three triangles. Eight sides is giving me six triangles. What do you notice? To me, I notice that number of sides minus two will give you the number of triangles. Number of sides minus two, that is four minus two, will give me two triangles. Five minus three, five, sorry, five minus two will give me three triangles. S minus 2 give me 6 times. So if I ask you, how many triangles can you get in a decagon? Decagon is a shape with 10 sides. So 10 minus 2, that's how I'll get 8 triangles. Let's proceed. Now, these two triangles will give you 2 times. What is the sum of angle in the triangle? 180 degree. So the sum of angle in any quadrilateral is 2 times 180, which is equal to what? 360 degree. The sum of angle in this quadrilateral is 360 now. This one too, I can easily find this. For me to find the sum of angle here, that's 180 plus 180 plus 180. That is 3 times 180 degree. If I multiply this, what can I get? This one gives me 540 degree. Because 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 6 is 24. I write 4 in the other 2. 3 times 1, 3 plus 2, 540. Look at these two. This one is 6 triangles. So for me to know the sum of angle in an octagon, I'm going to add 180 to 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 